All right, thanks, Michelle. They say that every dog has its day, but in the doggy dog world of competitive agility, Rush is an American Kennel Club champion. Sarah Hogan has more. Go, 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 go. Good boy. Good boy. He's the world's fastest medium sized Shetland sheepdog, who has perhaps the world's largest doggy heart. A taunt native, Rush has certainly defied the odds over the past year. After his owner and trainer, Paulette Swartzen Druber, was diagnosed with two forms of cancer, Rush had to start training with a fellow U.S. AKC member and Pasco native, John Nyes. And together, the two made the U.S. AKC Agility World Team this year and advanced to the FCI World Agility Championships in Germany earlier this month. When I was diagnosed in April, um, with cancer, I knew, you know, pretty much it might be chemo, there could be a lot, and I couldn't guarantee that I would be healthy enough to try out for the team. I figured the only one I would entrust my dog to is John. They both were very competitive, both want to go fast, and it worked well. And she gave me the opportunity of a lifetime to take her dog, who had been on the team two years in a row, um, to this world team tryouts, and he did awesome. Uh, we made the U.S. team. It was nail-biting, waiting to hear from the coaches. Finally, we heard the word that we made the team. We are competing against 38 countries from all around the world. There are 12 team members on each one of their teams, um, and it's the best of the best. It's, it's indescribable, really. But this duo did more than just represent the U.S. in the medium-sized category. They shocked the crowd and took home second place, the only top three finished by a U.S. AKC team in this year's championship. Just to walk out on that floor and represent the United States is, you know, a victory in itself. But when to go out there and win something is... Yeah, I, mean, I cried. I mean, you know, I mean, the dream was for him to get on the team, and, you know, the unbelievable dream was for him to medal. You know, I knew the dog was capable, and John having the longer legs and the more speed made him definitely a contention for it. And to lay it down and put it together, though, was like, you know, very emotional for everybody on the team. But fresh off their international win, the work was still not finished for John and Rush, who still had another big national competition stateside just days later. We headed out for the USDAA National Championships in Kentucky. Um, it was a five-day competition where Rush won five medals, uh, and he actually won the Grand Prix World Championship out there at the Sino Sports Game. So uh, all in all, he's a national champion, a world champion, and a Grand Prix champion of USDAA. Rush Hop! <laughs> and although Rush has already won the Triple Crown of Dog Agility competition, he still has a long and bright future ahead of him. AKC Nationals in March is another big event, um, and I'm hoping at that point that Paulette is well enough to run him and um, put him back up in first place. He's going to be another national champion. In Taunton, for The Roadshow, I'm Sarah Hogan.